G'day, my name is Chris Mufflard and I'm a project engineer at Vico Software. Welcome to the Schedule Planner video training series level 5, adding buffer. The aim of this vignette is to teach you about buffer and when and why we would add it to a schedule. So what is buffer? Buffer provides a margin of error to ensure that one trade does not interfere with another. We insert it between tasks as a time allowance to account for random differences in productivity or location of work which may be considered high risk. Traditional scheduling methods has time risk allowance built into the durations, where location-based management systems uses the most realistic duration and buffer to protect against uncertainty. In the steps to optimize a schedule, we are effectively confiscating float, which we can then place in between high-risk tasks. A lag is a mandatory period of time elapsed over a 24-hour full day and not in shift lengths, for instance, concrete curing, whereas a buffer forms a compressible lag, which is our corridor of opportunity to mitigate the risks that only buffer considers as working time. This does not include weekends. Let's get started and isolate the slab on grade view in the custom views that we created earlier. We see here that we have four tasks. We can add buffer to any task in any scheduling view, but let's stay in the flow line view and start by double clicking to access the task properties. We're also going to head to the dependencies tab. Buffer is a choice and needs to be provided at the pivot points, or the points where the task line are the closest. Usually we would add buffer between longer duration continuous tasks because they are likely to have a higher risk of delivery. We also add buffer between critical tasks within smaller location sizes for trade tasks with little to no float. Within the dependencies tab, let's first start by adding buffer between the install vapor barrier and form slab on grade activities. We'll select five days. We're also going to add buffer between each of the remaining activities, except for the concrete slab on grade activity, which will add a five day delay. We're going to scroll to the bottom of the control view and activate the control mode. You're going to learn more about this in the production controlling level of vignettes. We're going to start by using the plus one day function in the bottom navigation bar. Note that when I add one day, that the dashed forecast line appears. When I push it again, note that the relationship extends beyond the target plan and abuts the relationship with the form slab on grade activity. As we continue to add days, we can notice that the forecast for the subsequent activities is being forced by the buffer or the idea of the compressible lag. However, when we add another day, we can note that the relationship between the rebar to slab on grade and the slab on grade concrete tasks is forcing the hard relationship based on the lag that we defined previously. In this vignette, we've taught you that adding buffer is essentially adding a margin of error of time between tasks. There is stage buffer between phases and task buffer which exists between tasks. Buffer helps us minimize the disturbances between the adjacent tasks, making the overall schedule less risky to implement. 